If you are interested in how machines move, you should try Atoms. Actually, if you are interested in simulation and not sure where to start, Atoms may be the best starting point because you don't need to be an expert to get good results. If you were in a dynamics course, your first dynamics course, you are ready for Atoms. You can animate example problems and even check your homework. This video is part of a series on how engineering students can get started learning hexagon simulation software. In this video, I will tell you about Atoms, how it is used in industry, which Atoms package to start with, how to spend your first hour with Atoms, and how to learn more. Let's go! Here are some companies who hire engineers who can use Atoms. Atoms is the gold standard in the automotive industry, and it's used a lot in the aerospace industry as well. But it has uses beyond that, like in design of construction equipment, elevators, and even snowblowers. Atoms is available as a few different packages. I think Atoms View is the right starting point for most people, but I want you to know about your other options. Atoms Modeler has a next generation interface. I think it's the most beneficial if you're designing complex assemblies. Atoms View is the foundation for other Atoms products, and on the Student Download Center, you can find it at this link here. Atoms Car has features specifically for modeling vehicles, such as suspension templates and tire models. It can also model other complex systems, such as power transmissions. Unfortunately, it is not available as a student edition. However, if you are on a team for a competition, such as Formula, Baja, or Supra SAE, you can request a student competition bundle that includes Adam's car. We also have webinars and training on Adam's car for Formula. Links for all of that are in the description. With all of that said, if you are interested in automotive engineering, you can at least model a suspension in Adam's View Student Edition. Adams Machinery is built into Adams View and available in the Student Edition. It streamlines modeling machine elements such as gears, sprockets, and bearings. It's not really a separate product from Adams View. As you learn Adams View, you can learn Adams Machinery also. Next, I'll show how to start your first Adams tutorial, highlight some key results, and offer some quick tips. To open Adams, click Start and find Adams Student Edition. Click on Adams View. I've already opened Adam, so I'm not going to exactly do that step. We are greeted by this welcome menu that lets us open a new or existing model. I'm going to close that right now. We could open Help by clicking F1, or we can click on the Help menu, and then click Adam's Help. Help loads in a web browser. Now that we're here, let's find a good Getting Started tutorial, the Latch tutorial. We click Getting Started and find Getting Started for Adam's View. This is where we find the latch problem. We can navigate the pages by clicking the left and right buttons. Let's find the part that gives us the big picture of what we're doing. We are going to be designing a latch that's based on a latch that was used in the Apollo program. We need to be able to translate from a technical schematic to the kind of schematic that we use in Adam's that represents all of the parts and how they're connected. This mechanism has components including links, pivots, springs. Atoms can model all of that. Let's go back to Atoms view and create a model. We previously closed the welcome screen, but by clicking File, New Database, we can get it back. Now you can follow the tutorial. I'm going to just show you a few segments of interesting things that you'll find, and I'll point out a couple of tips along the way. Speaking of tips, my first tip is to keep an eye on the status bar in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. For example, let's add a revolute joint to the design. What am I supposed to do and how far along am I in this process? Well, I check the status bar. It says select the first body. I'll click on this pivot. Then it says select the second body. I'll click on the handle. And then it says select the location and I'll select the point that joins those two. Without having checked the status bar, I would have had trouble keeping track of where I was in that process. It is nice that Adams does stay out of your way once you become proficient with it, but learning to pick up on clues like what's in the status bar is very helpful as you're learning. In Adams, it's easy to sketch your own designs, and you can modify your designs too. In Adams, it helps to simulate frequently to make sure that everything is connected correctly. Here I've built most of the latch mechanism. Let's run simulate and see what's missing. You can see that we're missing a revolute joint. We can add it in here. 
I have now added a spring to my latch mechanism, and I can see the forces in the spring over time in this strip chart when I run the simulation. See? You can use design evaluation tools to see how changes in your design affect the performance of the device. For example, we might want to see what happens if we move this point to the left or to the right. Adams is running a set of five simulations for me and automatically showing how the spring force varies depending on that coordinate. You can even have Adams vary multiple parameters for your design and see how that affects the overall performance. Each of these curves shows spring force or overcenter angle for any number of combinations of coordinates for those points. Adam's view is a great starting point for learning engineering simulation, and the latch tutorial is a great way to get started with Adam's view. Still, even after completing that tutorial, there will be a lot more to learn, and you can find out more about how to learn Adam's in the description. Adam 701 is a great introductory survey course for Adam's, and it will take you a lot deeper than the latch tutorial can. But there are other courses for advanced Adam's features, like Adam's machinery and Adam's car. If you're interested in trying any hexagon simulation software and you're a student or a professor, you should sign up for our student editions, which are available at a link in the description. We also have contact info there if you want help, if you want to get set up with a student competition bundle, um, anything like that. And feel free to reach out to me on LinkedIn with questions. All right, have a great day. Bye.